What's up everyone? Today we are doing something a little different. I got confirmation last night that my new shanty is actually at Bass Pro. So, today we're going to drive out there, pick it up, and then we're going to try to do an unboxing video and set it up and do all my modifications that I had done in my other shanty. I'm going to do them in this one as well and try and see we can get it set up and ready to go. We're going to go up north tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, fish Ontario. So we'll see if we can get this done so we can head up there. We'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, we are at Bass Pro. We just picked this thing up. So hopefully there isn't any damage. There's a big hole in the center of it, but it doesn't look like anything got damaged. Tub's still in good shape. So get her home and start assembling it. Okay guys, just got the otter back to the house. I had to drag it inside by myself because nobody is around to help out. So, we are going to drag it in here, move some stuff around so we have some room to set it up. Then I'm going to try to set up everything. I got my light. I, got, I don't have pole holders yet. I'll have to do that at a later date. Um, but, we're going to pull it in, at least get my battery set up, the light, get a few things in there, and uh, get my runners on it most importantly and we'll uh, we'll see how this thing goes the box like I said earlier the box has got a hole in it so I'm hoping that it's not damaged so I guess we'll see what happens now, normally I would do this in my garage but it's 12 degrees out today and I got a customer snowmobile in there so dining room is going to have to do. Now I ordered the bench seat just because there's times where I have my niece and nephew out or something and we need the room so I can't use the swivel seats and it makes it a lot easier to set everything up. Put all my, my backpack and tackle box on the bench. Hardware box. Now the bench was pre-assembled for the most part, so we're just gonna have to put that together. Some more hardware. Important part: the thermal cover. Now, for runners, I got a hookup at the uh, glass company, and this is actually. Uh, Basically, it's Lexan bulletproof glass. It's almost like uh, plexiglass, but bulletproof. So I had these made up, or I had a sheet made up, and I cut it myself. It's supposed to be a lot stronger than the regular plastic runners. A buddy of mine had his 
auction he'd done back in 2010, I think it was. And uh, they ran plexiglass. And it's still been 10 years. It's still going strong. Okay, guys, so we got the tape peeled off the plexi. drill it. I'm going to start with this just for the bolts all running as quarter 20s with a small washer and then a big fender washer on the inside so they don't rip through. Not that I think they're going to but right, we're going to start a hole with that one. Now you only want to go deep enough so you can bury the bolt head. And actually since we're running bulletproof glass, I'm gonna put a washer on there. I don't have enough thickness. Should have gotten thicker, but it was free, so work with what you got. We're going to use a heat gun to heat up the plexi so it bends a little easier.
Boy, it just takes forever. If only there was a faster way to do this, you know? Got an idea. Everybody does it, so let's see if it works. I see everyone do it. All the videos I ever watch, people just snap their fingers and together. For some reason this one's not doing it. But I think we're gonna skip this for now and move on and come back to this. It's easy as much as it's easier to do it. While this is flipped over, let's do it some other time. What do you want? What do you want?
but this is a battery that we're using. On my other shanty, this is the bracket that was already made for it when I made the other shanty. Now we've got to drill some holes and bolt it up. exhaust hanger. We use this as a tow hook. Drill holes in the back. And that's where that mounts through. Alright, so for this, you're going to take the nut, thread it on all the way. plexi that I just cut Washers.
Okay, guys. What we did is took these little LED light strips and ran it all up the bar. These ones aren't waterproof like I wanted, but we'll see how long they last. I got waterproof ones on the way. So that way I can replace them when I need to. Bye, Mommy. What? We also got a dimmer switch so we can adjust brightness so I can let the battery last longer. Alright, so now we are wiring up the lights and my power outlet. I'll drill a couple holes here so that I can zip tie this in. And then we're going to wire it up along with our power cord for that. Which I have some wire here. I'm going to run that. That's what I'm going to use. I got a dimmer switch that plugs in the lights. What we're going to do is take the input side of it and just cut that off. Because all we really need is them wires in there. together. So, it's been long overdue. I had everything been going on lately with this coronavirus and been getting busy. Now it's starting to get warmer out. Our ice fishing season has completely... Our ice fishing season was we were fishing one day and then four days later the ice was completely off the lake and that was it for the year. So, I didn't ever get the chance to uh, finish the outro for my unboxing video so um, we ended up getting the shanty all together um, went out fishing I think I was able to go out two or three times with the new shanty before this warm spell came and melted all the ice away but um, all in all absolutely love the new shanty I got um, 
couple issues with it, not really too major, but the fabric on it, when you extend everything fully, was stretched a little bit more than I wanted it to be. Um, I'm not sure if it's the fabric itself, if maybe they stitched it wrong. I know a lot of people have had issues with it. I tried, you know, opening everything up and letting it sit for a day or two to try and see if maybe it would stretch out and then fit a little better. And I was able to rework. I un unbolted everything off the chain and was able to rework everything and loosen it up a little bit. But all in all, I'm probably going to message the company and see if maybe they'll send me a new sh cover but at the same time I'm not it worked so I'm not too worried about it um I'll actually I'll post up some pictures of what the what I was taught what I meant with the stretch with the fabric being stretched and everything and then I got a couple pictures of it being set up um, so I'll throw some pictures of that up. All in all, I think I paid like 650 bucks for it. Uh, Bass Pro had a deal. So I ran out and picked it up at Bass Pro. And it was definitely worth it. Definitely glad I got it. I ran a couple days where it was really, really cold out. I'd run the heater on high for 5-10 minutes. And then turning it down, it was actually sometimes where I actually had the heater completely off because it just it was too much so I definitely like the shanty I would strongly recommend um, anybody that's looking into getting an otter or even just getting a shanty the otter thermals are very nice even though this one is the 600 not the 1200 it's still extremely warm for what it is but um, hopefully I can get some more of those ice fishing videos edited and uploaded Everything just happened so fast, I never had time to do it, so if you like the videos, if you like what I've been, the videos I've been putting up, I'm going to try to do some different kinds of fishing videos this summer, um, probably some magnet fishing, and then you can see there's a sneak peek here what I'm currently working on, that will be up as well, but if you liked it, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next adventure.